Well, here you can see my latest load on this step deck trailer. Just barely short of touching the front end. <laughs> That's just the way I like it, because then I don't have to deal with a bulkhead or anything. I got straps and chains holding this SOB down. And I still have straps holding these down. But the tighter I get it, the more it stays, so it's all good. <laughs> <They're> still, <laughs> they still want to come out. Jerks. I have to tighten them down again before I leave Sunday. Because for once I'm getting home on a Friday. Yeah, it's awesome. I only drove 303 miles today after Galveston. It was almost a 200 mile bounce to uh, Jewett, Texas. And then from there to the house. So yeah, I'm at home now. The 92007 is going to sit here in this awesome Walmart parking lot where it always has. When I go home, you are sticking out half a freaking mile. Okay, I really need to tighten this thing. <laughs> really, really need to tighten this thing. Okay. <laughs> We're all, we'll be alright now, hopefully. These are nice and tight though. These are nice and tight. I am moving them suckers. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, it is time to go home because it is about to start raining up here. Okay, I drove through Henderson about a half hour to go away. Drove through Henderson about a half hour ago and it was raining cats and dogs and horses and pigs and everything else you could possibly think of. I couldn't see down to about half a mile because the rain was coming down so thick that my wipers could not keep up with the flow. <laughs> and now you can see I've got little drips on my windshield signifying that it is making its way up here because uh, I looked at the weather forecast and it's supposed to be headed this direction from Henderson. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Not really. Um, the truck started just fine because I disconnected the battery before I left. It is 82 degrees and about 99% humidity. I'm dying right now. <laughs> Had the AC and the truck running all the way here because if I turned it off, I just started all oh, down my face would start sweating. It was like, oh my god, can't handle this. Yay for truck startage and the wrong clock, which I'm not even gonna bother setting. There is no point because I'm just gonna be disconnecting the battery again in a day and a half. Yep. So the current actual time. It's 5.35. You butt. You're not supposed to get in my way. Hi, Mojo. I miss you. You need to come home. My kitty cat needs to come home. She's been. I haven't seen her since the beginning of the year. Anyway, it is 5.35 and I am headed home. Well, you know, since it's so close. Yeah. It's close, so what not. <laughs> yeah. Home time. You know, it would be the one time I'd leave my good cameras at the house if something crazy like this would happen. <laughs> I'd have to go back to the truck to grab some stuff and get caught in a crazy rainstorm with hail included. So that's just awesome. <laughs> and lightning. Lots of lightning. Well, this right here is the type of thing I bought this camera for. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and stick it outside while I wait out the storm. Sure, what that is you're hearing. 
hail. And my GoPro's sitting out there. Yep, I'm getting slammed by hail. <laughs> I can't go walking out there. Because in the half second it took me to open this door, <clears throat> get out, and put the GoPro out there, like the seat in here got soaked. And, well, so did I. <laughs> like, wow. And the lightning is going nuts. Oh, well, if that's the case, I'll just do that. Then I'll be able to see a little better. And I'm getting wet. Yeah. <laughs> what did I do? I should have waited. Or, better yet, just not left the stuff in the truck in the... I did all, I came out here for a freaking number that, on my Qualcomm, of all things. I had to grab a number so I could get a receipt properly reimbursed, and I forgot it when I grabbed my binder, and it's like, oh crap, I gotta go get that, because I gotta transfer that stuff in tonight, or my average gets all screwed up. But, I came out here to get the number, and... About five minutes after I left the house, I got slammed. Uh, of course, you know. <laughs> of course. So, I'm waiting it out. I have an umbrella in here somewhere, but no telling where that went to. And my camera's not even sitting right. Woo! Lightning! <laughs> There's gonna be so much, so, so many different cameras taking this footage. It's crazy. I'm hoping the camera actually catches something good. I think I have a text message. It's probably my mom wondering what the heck I'm doing out here in this crazy storm. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer that so she knows I'm okay. <laughs> wow. different. <laughs> this tree came down and totally blocked the freaking road. Wow. Hopefully no one was caught underneath it.
Ditches here in my home area are overflowing. This is one heck of a storm. And my GoPro, I've just got it sitting on the dash, taking video the whole way. I hope it gets some decent footage. That 720p at 120 frames per second. I hope it caught that explosion I just went through. Because I hit a flood that I did not even know was there and my truck just slowed way down. <laughs> oh, that was incredible. Absolutely incredible. This whole thing is incredible. <laughs> it's a good thing we live up on a hill and not in the valley. <laughs> oh, this has been a fun drive. Wow. <clears throat> I think I might just pull in here, screw backing up. What the heck is that? The mailbox got blown off! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh man, this is hilarious. <laughs>